Right, so in this video we're going to look at how we calculate absolute maximum and minimum values of multivariate functions. To, to do this, um, I've uh, listed here three, um, I've listed here a procedure of three steps, comprising of approximately three steps. The first step, we will need to find the values of f at the critical points of f and d. Now the critical points are identified as we've done earlier, which is by calculating the x derivative of f, the y derivative of f, and the z derivative in case of um, uh, three valuable uh, functions, um, and then equating them all to zero and then solving for um, x, y, and z, or x and y, whatever be the case. And then, of course, um, simultaneously solving them, and those values are the critical values. Then we now, the only thing we don't do is we don't test those critical values as we have done before because that the test, second derivative test, gives us local maximums. We are looking for absolute maximums. So the other thing then is the second step is we look for all the extreme values of f on the boundary of d. So whatever domain of interest is there, we look at any extreme values on that on the boundary itself. And this is very similar to the 1d cases that you would have looked at. So um, I'll show you here just a quick demonstration. For instance, if you might remember, if a function was like this, and these values were, say, a and b, okay, so clearly the critical values would be identified as that one that you see here. So c would be a critical value. And critical there are all there we need to calculate f at these values so what we would do is we would look at f at c we would look at f at a and we would look at f at b and which one or whichever one of these is the largest is the absolute maximum and whichever one is the uh, smallest would be the absolute minimum so from the picture you can see that uh, probably f of b is the maximum absolute maximum value and f of c is the absolute minimum value clear us off okay so, now, uh, in order to do this, the uh, best thing is to look at an example. So, let's look at this example. So, we want to find the absolute maximum values of f of x, y equals x squared minus 2 x, y plus 2 y on the rectangle D, uh, which is defined as um, uh, x between 0 and 3 and y between um, 0 and 2. So, the first thing we'll do is let's actually have a look at what D, in fact, looks like. So, what we're looking at, actually, is this, D will obviously have... Um, 0 to 3, so x goes from 0 to 3, so um, from 0, 0 to uh, x is 3, so let's say 1, 2, 3, okay, and y is going to 2, 1, 2, so obviously um, the points that we will have are clearly going to be, it's a rectangular boundary, so this is what we're looking at actually. This is D. All right, so the the corners are three um, three zero here. This is uh, this is going to be three two. Okay, zero two. So this is our boundary. Uh, this is our domain actually. This is our domain D. Now what we want to do is. As, as the as point two suggests to find all extreme values of f on the boundary of D so the boundary of D is of course what's in red this is the boundary of D okay so now the the procedure would be that we would step one will get us all the all the possible values within this within D itself okay and we need to then uh, additionally look at the boundary uh, boundaries so what we're going to do is let's split let's divide these boundaries into these obvious lines that you can see here the line from 0 0 to 3 0 the line from 3 0 to 3 2 3 2 to 0 2 and 0 2 to 0 0 um, or 0 0 to 0 it doesn't matter okay so these three uh, these four lines now we'll come back to this in a minute um, uh, let's uh, now let's let's study uh, what's actually going on here. So to start with, let's actually calculate. In fact, um, uh, as we said, step one is in fact to calculate 
fx, uh, so we need the critical values. So fx in this case turns out to be 2x minus um, 2y and fy, which by the way we will equate to 0, and fy is equal to uh, minus 2x plus 2, which we will also equate to 0. Okay, and from the second one clearly, from this one, we clearly see that x is equal to 1. And if we take that and put it into the other one, we get y is equal to 1. So this means we have um, one of the, the only uh, critical value we get is 1, 1 for x, y. And f of 1, 1, okay, is equal to uh, 1 minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 1, okay. So that's one uh, one part done. Now let's uh, let's look at the boundary. So if we look at the boundary, let's look at the boundary L1 first of all. So let's see what's going on at L1. So L1 is the line uh, where, of course, x is equal to uh, y is equal to zero. So here we'll have to use y equal to zero, and of course x is between zero and three. So this means if we put y equal to 0 into our function, we're going to get, um, so in other words, we're looking at fx0, and fx0 turns out to be just x squared. Okay, so what we're looking at is, um, sorry, one sec. Sorry about that. So what we're looking at is that, what? how does x squared behave? Well, we know x squared is, x squared is a quadratic, and... Um, if we look at um, the behavior of x squared between 0 and 3, clearly um, we're looking at it increasing because 0 is the minimum value of x squared. Okay, and then from between 0 and 3, x squared only increases. So uh, clearly the largest value here, the smallest value of this particular function would be at f0, 0, zero which is equal to 0. Okay, that's the min. Okay, that's the minimum value, and the maximum value of this on this particular boundary, or uh, this line L1, this boundary L1, is occurs at f30, which is 9. So, now that's L1. Let's move on to L2. Now, L2, let's, have, let's see what's going on. At L2, we're looking at the line um, x equals 3, okay, and y is between 0 and 2. So this means we are looking at f uh, of 3 um, y. So we're looking at f of 3 y. So f of 3 y means uh, you substitute instead of x 3 in the, into our um, function and you end up with 9 minus 6 y plus 2 y, which is 9 minus 4 y. Okay. So we get 9 minus 4y, and while y is between 0 and 2. Now, this is a linear relationship, but it's a reducing linear relationship. It has a uh, downward slope. It's a straight line, but it has a downward slope. So we have to be careful. If I put 0 in here, I get 9, which is the highest value. So the max value of this particular on this boundary occurs when um, at 3, 0 is the max, and it's equal to 9. And the minimum, okay, occurs at 3, 2, which is 1. Because uh, 4, 2 is 8, so 9 minus 8 is 1. So th that's our maximum and minimum value on this particular boundary. So let's now look at L3. So in L3, line y equals 2, is the line y equals 2, and x is between 0 and uh, 3 as before. That doesn't change. Now again, here, what will happen to the function is it'll be, we're looking at x2. So x2 will mean uh, y is replaced by 2, so you get x squared minus 4x plus 4. Okay, so f of x2 is equal to x squared minus 4x um, minus 4x plus uh, 4. So now if you look at that, that's really just, in fact, x minus 2 squared. Okay, now we have to see what is going on between 0 and 3 to x minus 2 all squared. 
Now, x minus 2 all squared has a vertex at 2. That means there is a minimum value that occurs at 2, which is 0. Okay, Because look, this is what's going on. I'll just show you here. x minus 2 itself is just, here's 2. Okay, and it's uh, y, y will be, I'm sorry, when x is uh, 0, you'll get 4. So it's, this is what it looks like, basically. Okay, this is what the function will look like. Now, uh, if you look at this, now that occurs between 0 and 3. There's, this is 2, so the next value is 3. Um, uh, and that, of course, goes up to uh, 3 minus 2, 1 only. Okay, so this is, so clearly what you can see is that um, there are three values to be looked at. And they are f, uh, 0, 2, okay, will turn out to be, um, when we put x equal to 0 here, so we're going to get 4. Then f of, oh, we're going to get um, 2, 2, which is 0, and f of 3, 2, which is 1. So clearly this is your max on this boundary, and this is the min on this particular boundary. So now L4 is what remains. Now at L4, what's going on is, of course, um, x is equal to 0. And y is between, of course, as usual, 0 and 2. Okay, y is between 0 and 2. So what happens is we get f of 0y is equal to, um, just equal to 2y. So the minimum value is f0, 0, 0, which is 0. And the maximum here is f. 0, 2, which is 4. So that basically um, is all our candidates. So here's one of the critical value. Here's uh, two, ba two values on the boundary. Here's two more values, these two values, and these two values. Now of these, we can clearly see that the largest value, okay, the largest value occurs at F3, 0, which is 9, and that is our absolute maximum and uh, the lowest value occurs in two at two different points it's at 0 0 and at 2 2 okay and that's our absolute minimum value 0 is the absolute minimum value of the function okay and it occurs in two locations 0 0 and 3 0 so this is how we actually calculate the maximum values absolute maximum values of um, multivariate functions.